Next, we look at analysis of proteins. The analysis of proteins begins with chemically separating the amino acids from each other by breaking the peptide bonds between them. This reaction is known as a hydrolysis reaction, which is the opposite of a condensation reaction. The conditions are heat with concentrated sulfuric acid. So the first method of analyzing proteins that we look at is chromatography. Here's the setup for using chromatography. And here are the steps. So the first step is a small sample of the amino acid mixture is spotted near the bottom of some filter paper. And we call that the origin. So this spot here is the mixture of amino acids which you want to separate. And you make sure it's above the solvent that you're going to use. Next, the paper is suspended in a solvent with a spot above the level of the solvent. As the solvent rises up the paper by capillary action, the amino acids in the mixture will distribute themselves between two phases. The stationary phase, which is the water in the filter paper, and the mobile phase, which is the solvent here. The solvent will rise up the paper. The different amino acids will move up the paper at different speeds and become spread out according to their different solubilities. So the amino acids that are more soluble in the solvent will rise further up the paper. So here we have our chromatogram and this was our origin where we put the spot, the mixture of amino acids and they've separated out according to their different solubilities in the mobile phase and the stationary phase. So the next thing we're going to do is identify which amino acids they are. So here's the solvent front and the solvent front is the final position where the solvent reaches. Once the paper is removed, it is sprayed with ninhydrin, which is a locating reagent. When you spray the um, amino acids with ninhydrin, most amino acids will take a purple color and can be distinguished as separate spots on the paper, as we can see here. So next we're going to use this equation to calculate the RF, which is the retention factor. The position of each amino acid can be expressed as an RF value, a retention factor value, and compared with known RF values. Okay, So this is how you calculate the retention factor. It's distance moved by the amino acid, which is this small arrow here, divided by the distance moved by the solvent, which is the long arrow here. And then finally, the amino acid in the mixture can be identified by comparing the retention factor with known retention factor values. So we can identify each of these amino acids.